Hello, uh, my name is Seth Harrison, and I would like to introduce my father, uh, Kirk Harrison. He is uh, 46 years old, and um, Dad, I just want to let you know that uh, this will be on YouTube, and is that okay? No. Yeah, no, it's fine. That's good. Okay. All right. Um, first, first off, I want to start off with a few questions about um, age, and I just want you to just give me your opinion on that. Okay. So, uh, what do you consider to be old age and why? Old age and why? Okay. Um, you know, I would say, you know, to me, as you get up into your you know, late 80s and 90s, um, I, I'm seeing that to be old age today. Uh, you know, that's as old as my, uh, you know, my, my grandmother lived to be into her 90s and had a very uh, you know, healthy life. I've got another, uh, another aunt who is uh, 95 and she's still driving and doing all sorts of stuff along those lines. So uh, I think if you uh, take care of yourself and, and, uh, and eat right, you can, you can do those things. All right, sweet. Um, second one, uh, what type of things are you doing now to live a healthy life? Well, uh, as you know, I've been losing weight, which is uh, which is a biggie. Uh, so, and, and working out. So, really, you know, for you know, the things that I'm trying to do from a healthy lifestyle is you know, watch what I'm eating, uh, working out, doing both uh, you know cardiovascular and, and weight training, uh, and for the most part, you know, trying to eat healthy. Uh, don't always do it. Didn't do it last night, but. Uh, a nice little steak, red meat, it's good. Uh, but besides that, no, we're uh, just trying to work out and uh, and eat healthy. Okay. And uh, what do you think you should do in your future um, years, like to live a healthier, healthier life, um, just when you get older and as you continue to age? Well, you know, um, since I'm you know aging so gracefully now, uh, no, I. I I think one of the things that I want to try to do, you know, in the future is, you know, I, I, I realize that, uh, you know, my weight where it was, a uh, little, it was, too, I was too heavy and uh, I'm trying to, I think the thing that I have to do is, you know, get my weight down and, and, and keep it down because that'll help, you know, everything uh, from, you know, uh, cardiovascular health to, uh, my joints and everything. There's just there's just no reason for me to be uh, carrying around the body weight I've been mm -hmm. carrying around. Okay. And uh, another question here. Uh, it's a little bit different question, but how old do you expect to live, and why do you think that? I'm surprised I live this long. No, <laughs> I I, uh, I uh, uh, 142. Uh, no, I, I I you know I I'd love to. Uh, you know, live as long as I, I can, living a, being, a, you know, productive and member of society. You know, that's, uh, uh, want to go out and, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the family and uh, be a part of everybody's lives for as long as I can. Yeah, I agree. So you got to take care of yourself so you can take care of me. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Okay, and uh, another one, uh, on average, how old have members of your family um, usually lived, uh, what conditions or what age and uh, or uh, what contributed to sickness or death of members of your family? Okay. Uh, you know, I've, I, you know, most of the family, um, you know, on, on my mom's side, uh, you know, lived, uh, you know, uh, grandpa was in his 70s when he passed away. Now he had a, he had a, uh, he, he passed away from, uh, during heart surgery. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, your your uncle, well, my uncle Bob, he's in his uh, 80s, uh, just just turned 80, um, and he's you know still still going. Grandma lived in her 90s. Now my mom passed away uh, in her early 40s uh, due to cancer, uh, and then lost my dad. You know your grandpa, he passed away at 67. And he had a heart attack, which is uh, another reason why I'm trying to do all the cardiovascular stuff because mm. you know it's just that was too young right okay um what type of activities do you see yourself doing um 
I mean, you're already through your 30s, so I'd say yeah. just and, and continuing. 30s are your, good. Yeah. Well, 40, 30s are good. 40s has been good, too. Um, but just late 40s, 50s, and as you continue uh, to yeah, age. Just you know, can kind of continue to do everything we like doing. Um, you know, we're, you know, your mom and I uh, uh, both, you know, we said we take care of ourselves. We want to continue to, to you know, enjoy our, our family and, you know, watch you guys uh grow up and uh so you know we'll uh you know uh, we get as as we get uh, kids off the payroll uh we it will probably give us some flexibility to do some you know do some other things uh, as we get uh, you know uh, into our 50s it, it was uh you know, your mom and I kind of when we laid everything out was you know, when we first started having kids was that we were going to have all the kids before we were 30 and that means that you know if we we kind of timed it right, which means that when your uh, younger brother, when he'll he'll be he'll be uh, twenty, and in college when we turn fifty, so mm -hmm. you know I think that'll you know, uh, and hopefully well on his way to getting through college, you yeah. know, like the rest of you guys have. So yeah, we'll you know travel, uh, you know do everything uh, that we like to do, go watch watch a lot of baseball, and uh, you know. Go do stuff with your your uh, your sister and brother, and you know, watching them, watching uh, Alexis and and uh, Garrett. It'll be fun. Awesome. All right. And finally, uh, what do you wish that you would have done um, in your youth or when you were younger to, uh, I guess, just better uh, help your life um, in areas of like health or education, um, finance. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I, I guess. I was, you know, from a health wise, I think the the the, the only thing I would I would change was, uh, you know, I wish I knew more about uh, nutrition and things along those lines when I was coming through high school and you know, et cetera, because there's just so much more knowledge out there today about you know how to, you know, lead a healthier lifestyle, how to how to. Uh, if you're trying to gain muscle, if you're trying to you know build strength, there's a lot more information out there than there was when when I was coming through high school. Uh, you know, from a finance standpoint, oh my gosh, um, biggest thing, save more money. Uh, I mean, I think that's the you know that's the key. If I can give you know any you know any uh, kid coming out, you guys coming out of college, uh, is uh, you know save your money. Uh, you know, try to avoid as much debt as you can, and uh, you know, uh, you know when you when you get an opportunity, if you if you do those things and you save your money, it gives you the ability to do some things that other people can't at at, a, at an earlier age. You know, if you're if you're saving your money, uh, coming out of company for, to take your first job, and you're not extending your 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 debt too much, you know, you can, you can buy a house when your, you know, your friends and your other peers can't buy a house. And if you've been able to buy a house, you can, uh, you know, pay that off quicker and, and just sort of put yourself in a, in, in different, uh, different position growing up. You know, not, not that we didn't do okay, but, uh, you know, things could, we could do some things to make life a little easier for sure. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, that will conclude this interview, and Dad, I just want to say thank you. Thank you're, you for coming in. And you're welcome. This for me. You're so, welcome. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. All right. Awesome.